much and welcome to Washington. We're delighted to have fact, you. Sixty-two percent of those who've come home from Afghanistan and Iraq have muscular skeletal needs in the Veterans Administration today of our veterans. So it's a very important service. is a very important profession, and we're delighted to have you here today. I appreciate the reference to last November's bill where we doubled the requirement in terms of the number of chiropractors that must be hired, must be hired, by the Veterans Integrated Service Networks across the United States. We doubled it from one to two. We're now at a situation where 10.3 percent of our veterans returning are women. And from Afghanistan and Iraq, many of them are carrying 70-pound rucksacks in deep, difficult terrain and difficult circumstances. And that, in and of itself, causes musculoskeletal problems that you would not have otherwise had. So it's very important to have chiropractic available to our veterans for services to them. Who knows Jim Anchors? Y'all don't know Jim Anchors? He's my neighbor. He's my neighborhood chiropractor, as a matter of fact. He's been, he and I have been neighbors for 38 years. Our wives are best of friends. When I served in the Georgia legislature and went to the United States House, he saw to it that I was educated on chiropractic issues. And because of Jim Anchors, and if any of you know him, give him credit, the United States Congress and the, med the, vet the services we have in medical services in the Capitol with our Surgeon General also provide chiropractic services on a rotating basis. So any one of us that need those services can get them in the Capitol on call when we need them. And Jim Anchors was the lobbyist that made that happen for the Chiropractic Association and Leadership Council years ago. So he did a great job and he also lobbied the hell out of me over the back fence in our neighborhood until I finally gave in and got it done. Which, which leads me to leads me to my closing remark. Everything of, a, of consequence that I've accomplished in public life in 37 years has become because somebody who knew something about a subject that needed to be fixed came and lobbied me. Now you're in Washington for your leadership council, and I know you're going to have a lot of leadership council discussions about Medicare, probably about Medicaid, probably about how you talk to senators and how you talk to congressmen. But remember this, nothing happens in Washington good it isn't first originated by an American coming to Washington and pointing out a problem we need to fix. So you're here and you play an important role. You probably think when you get on the airplane and go home, we're not going to come back for another year that, well, they really it won't make a difference. In Washington, if you're out of sight, you're out of mind. But if you're in sight, you're in mind. All you want to make sure you do is have a seat at the table when your profession is being affected by regulation. Because chiropractic has had a seat at the table, because your leadership council has come here on an annual basis, we now have mandatory chiropractic services in every Veterans Integrated Service Network in the United States. That's because of your lobbying, not any credit that I deserve for helping to make that happen. So.